You don't want to have a sales page that sucks. After all that effort creating an online course, the last thing that you want is to people to land on that sales page and be like, meh. So I've gone out there and done a bunch of research to find out what all the high converting sales pages have in common. And I've put all those elements into a checklist that you can use to make sure you don't hear when you send people to your sales page. Let's do it. I've come up with 20 different sales page elements that have all these persuasion factors in place. And you can see them here. You got the title, subtitle, sales video, sales copy, course description. And then on the right hand side, I have a checklist with all these sales page elements that you can use to verify that you have a perfect sales page that is high converting. And you can access this checklist at grumo.com forward slash sales check. So you can go there and access the checklist and then you can go through your sales page and see if whether you have all these sales page elements. Now, there's 20 of them. You don't need to have all of them, but at least in the first 12, I think they're required and ideal to have. If you don't have any of the first 12, probably your conversions are going to be lower. And the last seven from 13 to 20 are kind of optional, but if you have them, they are definitely going to help your conversions. Now, you don't need all these elements and they don't have to be in this exact order, although traditionally the title and subtitle and sales video are going to be in that order. But all of the other elements, they can be in different order and you can have some of them repeat, like usually testimonials are repeated quite a bit. Sales copy is all over your sales page. And actually I would argue sales copy is the most important of all the elements. You could have a sales page that basically is sales copy and probably could sell very well if it's very persuasive because sales copy, which is basically your ability to create an engaging story. Uh, you can have curiosity and trust and greed and scarcity. You can talk about yourself and your achievements, about the course, about the offer, about how people should take action now, etc. right? But it depends. A lot of courses don't have a lot of long sales copy, but they definitely have a course description and an instructor bio and, and a description of the curriculum and testimonials are probably the most important part in order to build trust. Anyways, now let's just go over a couple of sales pages. One is going to be on Udemy which is one of the most popular course marketplaces in the world. They've been around for over 10 years. They have tens of thousands of instructors and courses and definitely a great place to sell courses. And of course, you can imagine considering that they make millions of dollars selling courses, they put a lot of attention on their landing pages. And let's see. So now what we're going to do is use this checklist to verify that a high converting sales page has most of these items. So obviously it's gonna have a title that is short and results oriented in this case. This is a sample course. It has a subheading, which is one line that describes uh, the results in more detail. In this case, it does. Then we have a uh, sales video right there. We got sales copy, a little bit of the story. So that's the sales copy. It's very limited, like I say. And the reason why is because a lot of the legwork in terms of building trust is already done by the platform. Remember that Udemy has been in business for like 10 years and they've sold thousands of courses and they have a, an approval process. So they filter courses just to make sure that they're of high quality. So by the time you arrive on Udemy, you're probably aware of the brand. You probably have bought a couple of courses before. So you know that you're gonna get a pretty good quality course, right? So they don't have to spend a lot of time writing long copy, like a big choice of page in order to convince you that this is a good course. Although, it could be a bad course, but of course you have other elements of trust, uh, like social proof. In this case, you have ratings and how many students have they taken them. And if we go here, we can see that we have course reviews and course uh, ratings. We'll have, we also have a sales counter, how many sales they've made, but we also have a description of the course. We have a instructor's bio which is very important in terms of trust because then we can learn more about this uh, instructor and make sure that they have experience and they know what they're talking about and we can trust that they're going to deliver a good course. Then we have the modules and the curriculum so we know what all the chapters are all about and we have a list of all the different lessons, testimonials. They have tons of testimonials here. And we also know that they are true testimonials because these are from people that have purchased their course. I mean, you obviously, some of them could be fake, 
but they have a whole team dedicated to ensure that the testimonials are from real people. So that's another one of the elements that is going to increase your trust. Uh, let's see what else do we have here. It doesn't have bonuses, but a lot of uh, Udemy courses do have bonuses on the last chapter. This one doesn't have one. The offer basically is the, what do you get, right? So sometimes you will have a review of everything that you get, whether it's discounted or not, and, and a big call to action button, which they do. Frequently asked questions, they don't have that. I guarantee they do have that here. 30 day money back guarantee. They don't have a PS section. That's traditionally longer sales pages where at the very end you have like PS, by the way, and you can use that to address any uh, additional benefits or possible objections. They don't have a countdown timer, which is unusual because Udemy is well known for having limited discounts that are half, uh, they're time bound and they don't have payment plans and they don't have a disclaimer. Anyways, out of the 20, they have most of them, right? So it's a good sales page that I'm sure they've done a lot of testing to make sure that it's high converting. Now, let's say that you're self-hosting. If you're self-hosting, then you don't have such a strong brand, which means you're probably going to have to have a longer sales page to build that trust and to put into effect those persuasion factors. So here we have a longer sales page from an independent instructor that is selling from his own website. And right now, let's see the different elements. As you can see, it's longer and it has a lot more testimonials. But if I refresh the checklist here, we would do the same thing, right? And you can see there is a title that grabs your attention. It has, it doesn't have a subheading, but it's not necessarily because the, the, the title, would you like to build a high engaged YouTube channel that turns views into income in eight weeks? is very precise. I know exactly the value that I'm gonna get and how long it's gonna take to get that value. Then we have a sales video. There is a lot of sales copy that we can see here. And the sales copy basically is persuading readers to buy the course. And also in this checklist, what I've done is if you go down, there's a whole section with a few points to make sure that your sales copy is persuasive and is hitting all the important points. Like you should make sure that you're using the second person. That means you're addressing your potential buyers as uh, you. Uh, then you are answering who this course is for, what the course has, and specifically the most important thing, why they should buy the course. This is where you qualify yourself, your social proof, you give your social proof for yourself, and explain the transformation your students will get from taking the course, then uh, the benefits, you're gonna handle any potential objections, and you're gonna make sure that the tone of your sales scope is not too salesly, doesn't feel bombastic and sleazy, like a lot of these chorizo pages from clickbank.com, where you're like, oh my God, I can't believe this. And um, finally, you're going to look also the final, final quality control, that there's the, make sure that there's no spelling mistakes, that the grammar is correct. This should be common sense, but as you can see in this page, for example, that word is misspelled, uh, which is really not good because this person has not paid enough attention to detail. And even if it's just one word and it has lots of students and high ratings and stuff like that, you can notice and it doesn't look good. And it's not that hard to actually use your spell check and figure out that if you've written something that was not correct. Very important to know is that in your sales page, you're gonna use images and videos, make sure you have rights to them. If you want access to royalty-free images, you can go to pexels.com or pixabay.com. That any claims that you do in terms of results are true or, and that there is proof that you have done that, your testimonials will do a great job at verifying that the claims that you made in your course are true. And then veracity of the testimonials, make sure that you, for please don't use fake testimonials. And this is something you want to make sure before you make this page live, make sure that you've tested the checkout process and it works perfectly. Now, of course, if you're using a platform like Udemy, of course, it's going to work because there's basically tens of thousands of, of instructors selling courses that they cannot afford for the checkout process not to work. But in your case, if it's your sales, your first sales page, make sure that the checkout process is working. Now, if you're using a third-party platform like Kajabi or Thinkific or Teachable, most likely it's going to work. But if you this is a system that you hack together yourself, then definitely wanna make sure that the checkout process works. If you scroll to the top of the checklist, you will be able to see several links with sales page building tools. Because the next step for you is to either fix an existing sales page or to create a new one from scratch. And if you need inspiration, I have links to four sales pages that are high converting, one for Video Labs, which is the one that you have here, and then three other more 
that look really good and will give you great ideas on how to create your own landing page. To access this checklist, go to grumo.com forward slash sales check. And then you can go over your sales page and make sure that it has as many of these 20 elements as possible. And if you do, you'll have a high converting sales page, which is what you want. You don't want to spend all this time creating an online course and then nobody buys it. Now, if you want to learn more about how to create online courses and everything from creating an outline and recording your course and all the equipment that you need and how to create not just a sales page, but how to upload it and edit your video and everything else, you can go to groomoschool.com and I have tons of videos and training materials that have been taken by thousands of students around the world that will help you understand absolutely everything that you need to create courses that sell. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. All right, be honest. Did you like this video? Was it useful? Because if you didn't, no problem. You can watch this one. You can keep watching my videos going on the rest of your life, no problem. And eventually, maybe you like one of them. I hope you do. I really hope. It would make me extremely happy.